Okay, so, I want to yeah. move on from these old school, old banks, yeah. these dinosaurs. In fact, yeah. you have a headline about the dinosaurs and the evolvers on one of your recent papers. So I want to talk about the evolvers. Get rid of these dinosaurs. Let's talk about fintech, the whole financial technology industry, whether it's peer-to-peer, -peer, whether it's crowdfunding, peer-to-peer uh, -peer lending, or Bitcoin and the blockchain. Where, where do you see that? Are banks prepared for the blockchain? Are they ready no, for this? No, they're not. And so what I would say to you is, uh, here we're in London, right? Mr. Haldane, Mr. Haldane from the Bank of England Andy said, Haldane. LD Haldane said, we are looking at uh, a change in the financial system of our world, which is one of the, could be one of the greatest revolutions in centuries. This is not a cyclical issue. I think there's a profound, deep, uh, uh, the, the depth and the breadth of, and the profundity of what is happening in front of us with financial technology is something that we see once in a lifetime. On a competitive basis, isn't the first country to adopt this and let the regulatory framework be accommodative going to get a huge first mover advantage over everyone else in the world? And can't that country be like China, Hong Kong? No, it's China, yeah, with Alibaba. The Chinese government has been more accommodative to financial technology than any other country in the world. And that is why Alibaba is so far ahead of even any other, any U.S. company. I think people will be shocked to hear that. Uh, and, you know, the World Bank did just do a report where they said right now, this year, this past year in China, there was $10 million raised on crowdfunding platforms. Yep. They see it being $50 billion yep. per yep. year by 2025. Yep. Now, uh, China is banking on uh, companies like Alibaba and Tencent and others like that to... Uh, revolutionize the market for financial products through the uh, phone system, which includes securitized products, uh, federal debt, uh, provincial debt, and uh, securitized REITs. And uh, the, the creation of a long-term capital market is going to be aided by Alibaba. When you, when you say that, I immediately think of what's going on in Africa, places like Kenya, yes, where sir. they've gone completely yeah. mobile mm -hmm. with their banking system, yep. and they've kind of leapfrogged all the uh, traditional banking system. And I know China is big in Africa, they're making huge investments yes. in Africa. Is there also a connection on that, the financial technology uh, level between these two countries? The Absolutely, areas? yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Um, so, so, so companies like M-Pesa in Kenya are trying to go to other countries in uh, Africa, but the stuff that's being done inside China with mobile, with a, uh, with what is being done with TenPay, right? I, I, I can guarantee you, I was at a conference on. What is, what is that? Yeah. So, so TenPay is the payment system for Tencent. Okay. Uh, Tencent is the second largest company after Alibaba, and I was at a, a big data innovative uh, conference uh, a few weeks ago in China. And the stuff that 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 Tencent is doing in terms of understanding its customer base, creating ratings on individuals, uh, which uh, allows you to have credible ratings on 400 million people that didn't even exist three or four years ago, right? Like a Moody's rating. Absolutely, On, yes, on individuals. Yes, sir. So it gives you a credit. It, it facilitates the, uh, the lubricants of, uh, of yes, lending, sir. essentially. Yes, sir. Essentially. Yes, sir. You get rid of all the middlemen. But, yes, uh, you know, when you, when you talk about this, it reminds me 10 years, 15 years ago, of course, you had the micro payment, micro loans in Bangladesh and India were huge. It was the mm -hmm. beginning of a revolution. Uh, it sounds yes, like the uh, the epicenter of growth now is China. So that's the, and there's a, I think there's a crowdfunding uh, conference coming up in March in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. uh, so is so I guess this, uh, the, uh, this is really where the center of the action has become. Absolutely, yes, sir, uh, yes, sir. And so how does Alibaba figure into this? Is it like uh, how eBay brought PayPal really to the world and expanded? What, what role does Alibaba play in uh, expanding the financial technology? So so think about it. So Alibaba's uh, capabilities now. Alibaba is eBay. It is it is um, Amazon. It is um, uh, um, PayPal. It is Square. It is Microsoft. It is Google. All in it's, one company. It's, it's all in one company. Yeah. And not only that, it's also I, I would like to think of, of 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 what's happening to Alibaba. Also, it's Disney. Alibaba huh? is a what? Alibaba. How do you get there? Alibaba is going to become, I think, a major player in streaming video um, that's going to bypass cable in the next uh, three to four years. Think about it. The CEO of Alibaba came from the Film Council. This is okay. interesting information, mm -hmm. right? And so I think the way in which uh, streaming streaming films, uh, hitting um, phones and PCs... Like Netflix made this uh, Kevin Spacey yeah, series, right? uh, House of Cards. So, right? so yeah, so, so you can bypass the cable system. So the cable companies are in real trouble in China. And I think Alibaba is going to revolutionize that whole streaming. And within two years, you're going to be able to use your telephone to uh, as, as, a, as a home entertainment system to flash your phone on the wall, uh, five foot by five foot wall, white wall. That's going to give you a 3D movie off your phone.
Right. So uh, film production in China, I guess also they've got a lot of uh, indigenous production, a lot of uh, local uh, stuff. Uh, like, exploding, absolutely exploding. One of their, their big movies came out last week, Gone with the Bullets. That was the first Gone role. with the Bullets. Gone with the <laughs> Bullets. It's like Gone with the Wind. Uh, Gone with the Bullets. With, uh, it, was karate. A, it was a major uh, big budget movie that uh, was uh, had the largest um, viewership ever in Chinese history on the opening night um, last week. Right. Okay. So this is very exciting. As you know, we, we had a lot of fun in, uh, in Hong Kong. I think we're going to go to Shanghai in March for this crowdfunding conference. I don't know if you're going to be there or not. I'm, I'm going. You're going. All I'll right. It's I'll a party going. in Shanghai. Yeah, we're going to Shanghai in March. Dim sum. We got our crowdfunding platform, Start Join, yeah. so you could probably yeah. find out more details about it yeah. uh, on that as well. well but, thank you for coming in Yeah, again. we're out of time. we got to go. And uh, But thanks so much for being on the Kaiser Report, Paul Schulte. Thank you very much. And by the way, did Max pronounce your name correctly? Indeed. Okay, good. <laughs> See, someone calls me sir. I like that. <laughs> and now I want, I want all the guests to call me sir. Yeah. And that's going to do it for this edition of the Kaiser Report with me, Max Kaiser, and Stacey Herbert. I'd like to thank our guest, Paul Schulte of Schulte Research. If you'd like to get in touch, tweet us at Kaiser Report. Until next time, bye, y'all.